Hi folks, Swiss Bohem here. In today's video I show you my Laserdisc collection. Now I don't remember exactly the year when Laserdiscs came out. I think it was in the late 1970s or like in the early 1980s and back then it was a groundbreaking technology. So the picture of Laserdisc is better than what you got on VHS or Betamax but of course it was less good than what you got later on DVD and of course Blu-ray. So without further ado I show you my anime Laserdisc collection. First we have here Akira and I think this is a French release and because the movie is longer than two hours this lace disc actually contains two lace discs and the movie is inside here and here so if I take it out then you have the movie inside here so like in a big compact disc form. It has the same size as a long play vinyl. Next we have a Neon Genesis Evangelion, the first four episodes by ADV Films. Now this is a bilingual lazy disc, which means it contains the English dubbed version and there is an analog track with the original Japanese dialogue and there is a possibility to play also the subtitles. Ghost in the Shell by Mamoru Oshii. An excellent movie, groundbreaking movie. And again, this movie is longer than two hours. That's why it is on two laser discs. Wings of Onyamis, the first movie anime by Gainax. This is one of my favorite uh, anime movies of all time, actually. Macros Plus, part four. This is an excellent OEV of the mid 90s with, with really superb music by Yoko Kanno. Robot Carnival, um, released by Streamline Pictures. This is an excellent anthology anime, which contains like short anime, short movies with excellent animation and each movie was uh, directed by another director. Some of the music is also by Joe Hisaishi, who is famous for the Ghibli movies. On Your Mark, this is a seven minute music clip directed by Hayao Miyazaki. The music is by Chage Asuka, which is a famous uh, pop singer duo. This one contains On Your Mark, the clip, there's a Leica reel and something there. This is uh, another music video clip, but not animated. Pat Labor 2, the movie. Now, this is also one of my favorite anime movies. And now this laser disc here is called Tokyo Movie Anime Shudaika Daisenshu Daisan Maki. Um, this is a compilation of opening and endings, anime opening and endings made by Tokyo Movie, uh, one of the bigger anime companies in Japan. So it's better known under the name TMS. Uh, for example, they released Ohio Spank or Space Adventure Cobra or Chie the Brat, Cat's Eye, Golgo 13, Rupan, again Cat's Eye second season. Before you had like YouTube, you had only one way to enjoy anime openings and endings. Either you directly recorded them when they were in, on TV or you bought like physical releases or you were lucky and you got your hands on such a kind of compilation on Laserdisc. So these are all openings and endings by Toy Animation starting from the year 1963 and 1975. Uh, you have, for example, you have uh, Gegege no Kitaro. This contains 
a lot of anime openings and endings. There are in total 45 individual anime opening and endings. So just uh, the openings and endings, how you saw them on TV back then. So this is the second compilation of toy animation opening and endings. This time from 1976 to 1982. And it contains anime like Georgie, Pataliro, Dr. Slump, Captain Harlock. Again in total 47 anime openings and endings. And the last one contains all anime openings and endings from Toy Animation from 1983 to 1989. You have Dragon Ball, Kinikuman, Maple Town, Otoko Juku, Saint Seiya, Bikuriman, Fist of the North Star, Gugu Ganmo, but you also have like uh, Stop Hibarikun. Now this is uh, an anime by Rumiko Takahashi, the famous artist from Ranma 1 Half and Uruze Yatsura. This is Maris the Jojo, or in English it's called Maris the Supergirl. This is one of the later Uruse Yatsura OAVs. I think it's called Nagisa no Fiancé, the fiancé of Nagisa. So uh, this is the great thing about laser discs. They sometimes contain like booklets with like nice artwork directly taken from the anime. Gen Uruze Yatsura, Yagi-san to Chizu and Ha to Tsukame. Uruze Yatsura TV titles. This is a compilation of all opening and endings of the Uruze Yatsura TV series. So it contains in total 15 chapters, so 15 openings and endings. Now this is the first movie of Uruze Yatsura, it's called Only You. And this is the so-called non-cut version. Uh, because apparently there was like a cut version of the first movie. It was directed by Mamoru Oshii. I think it was his first theatrical movie. Then uh, the second theatrical movie. This time it is a US release by US Manga Corps. Beautiful Dreamer. This is in my opinion the best Uruze Atura movie. It's also the most famous one. Also directed by Mamoru Oshi. But the next three uh, Uruze Atura movies, they are all by Animego. So these are US laser discs with the original audio and subtitles in English. The fourth Uruze Atura movie, Lambda Forever. Um, this was, in my opinion, an okay movie, but the story was extremely confusing. And the fifth movie, which is more straightforward because it's based on the very last uh, manga volume by Yurumi Takashi. It is the end of the story of Uruze Yatsura, so this is the final chapter, the last movie, it's the fifth movie. Or let's say it's the second to last movie because there was another movie coming out in, in the three years later, which is not really worth mentioning it. Now I have some of the TV series and Japanese laser discs, Uruze Yatsura volume 8. This contains four episodes, so episode 50 to 53, volume 30 of Uruse Yatsura. Maison Ikoku, volume 10. Um, this is also an anime based on a manga by Rumiko Takashi. This contains episode 37 to 40. Maison Ikoku, the very last volume. This contains episode 93 to 96. And this is an OAV, uh, a Ranma one half OAV. I think it's the last or one of the last OAVs. This is the one with the cursed doll, the cursed doll of Akane. This was a quite interesting and fun OAV. And this is the first uh, theatrical movie of Ranma. I think it's called uh, Chugoku Nekonron Tai Kessen, Big Trouble in Little China or something in English. This is the second movie of Ranma, Hanayomi o Torimodose, Give Me Back My Bride or something. Um, I saw that one the first time as a VHS copy I got from like a, a guy somewhere in Switzerland and I loved this movie, I loved it. It's very sexy, very funny, it has great action and there is also a great ending song by uh, a band called Picasso. You're supposed to like 
put in the lazy disk in here. This is a kind of Ranma one half OAV, a special one where all the characters are singing some songs. This is, a, I think, a special OAV of a manga which was published in Young Jump. Shin Kujakuo, a kind of like violent fantasy series. So the director of this OAV is Rintaro. Yes or yes? This is an OAV based on a very famous uh, video game franchise, like a Japanese RPG. I'm sure some of you know it or have played it, but I'm not a gamer, so I don't really know it. This is also uh, an OAV, a one-shot. It's called Seretsukai, based on a manga by Okazaki. The English title is Element Tailors. Iketeru Futari. This is a TV series of the late 90s. Uh, this is basically like a sex comedy about a really annoying guy and his girlfriend. It contains like uh, several episodes because the episodes are rather short. I think they're always 10 minutes. It contains even the whole TV series. That's quite possible. This is Osanari Dungeon. I think it has a character designer of the Dragon Ball TV series. Now, this is also a one-shot. It's called Taiman Bruce, Ladies Hen, an anime about like delinquent girls driving motorbikes. This is the original animation video of Burn Up. I think there are at least uh, one or two other versions of Burn Up. This is the original one, which came out, I think, in the early 1990s. Yes, 1991. Now I got uh, the Final Fantasy OAV anime, which came out in 1994. This is an excellent fantasy anime. Uh, I think directed by Rintaro. I'm not sure if it was released in the States, but I think it was released in European countries on VHS, but not on DVD. Volume 2. Volume 3. The last volume. This is an OAV called Suna Nobara, or it's better well known under the name Desert Rose. This is an anime which is special to me because it takes place in Switzerland actually. And even my hometown is mentioned. Yokohama Kaidashkiko or Yokohama Shopping Trip. An absolutely fantastic science fiction fantasy anime. Miyuki-chan in Wonderland. Uh, based on a manga by Clamp of the same name. Lords of Lords Reunite. It's called Adieu's Legend. I know there was like a TV series of Reunite and this is the o uh, one of the OAVs. This is the first OAV of Moldiver. Uh, this came also out in the States. I think this was one of the earliest OAVs, um, anime OAVs, which came out in the States and also in the UK. Princess Nine. The first two episodes of the TV series. It was a late 1990s TV series about uh, a troupe of all-female baseball girls and it has excellent orchestral music. Key the Metal Idol. I think this contains the first three OAVs of Key the Metal Idol. This is a science fiction drama which came out in 1994. Key the Metal Idol OAV 4 and OAV 5. Vampire Princess Mew, the OAV. Again, Vampire Princess Mew. The artwork is excellent, it's really beautiful. This is the fourth OAV. Gunbuster, aim for the top. Directed by Hideaki Anno, animated by uh, Studio Gainax. This is a science fiction classic. Contains a little bit of production artwork of the OAV. 
Again, Gun Buster, aim for the top. This is volume 2, it contains uh, OAV 3 and 4. DNA Aitsu no Aitsu, DNA 2. This is a romantic comedy based on a manga by the same name by Masakazu Katsura, who is more famous for Video Girl I. Again, DNA. Brain Powered Volume 1 and it contains only two episodes. This is a science fiction anime. It was directed by Yoshiyuki Tomino, who is famous for Gundam. KO Sentry Beast Keaters. This was a very fun comedy fantasy series, which I uh, got the first time on VHS as a copy, and then later in Japan I got my hand on all the uh, laser discs. So this is like from the first OAV series, the first volume contains. 30 minutes. It was released in the state on DVD uh, under the name KO Beast Warriors Volume 2. And this is the second OAV series which had four OAVs. This one has also an excellent hard rock opening. Check it out on YouTube. Now this is uh, Nadia's Secret of Blue Water, Volume 7, which contains episodes 25 to 28. Nadia music video. I think you see some of the voice actors visiting the studio, uh, Studio Gainax. So the voice actors of Nadia and of Jean, for example. But you also have some songs. I can't really remember this one. I like the artwork though. This is the one where the voice actors visit, I think, Studio Gainax. Yes, here you see them. Kimagure Orange Road. The artwork of the laser discs was made by Akemi Takada and this is excellent. Volume 1. Volume 2. This is Volume 4. Volume 5, 6, 9, and 10. That's not the last one. This is the second movie of Kimakure Orange Road, Soshite Ano Natsu no Hajimari. It came out in the mid 90s. It had a different character design from what you were used from the TV series. And it had some really good animation, but the story was quite wonky. This is the first theatrical movie I want to return to that day. This is a really good drama. The first lace disc of Escaflone. I got this one in Switzerland, so this was my way to discover Escaflone. It was quite expensive. Revolutionary Girl Utena. This contains uh, two episodes of the TV series, I think the first two episodes. And this is a science fiction anime called Ariel Armitage. This is the fourth one. The last OAV of Armitage. I got volume 4 of Evangelion. I have a really fun memory of this episode because I saw it on a huge screen. Yeah, let's see. This is quite special. So when you open it, you have like all this information about the cuts and things, so details from the TV series, so this is really great for an Evangelion fan. Volume 5 of the original TV series contains episode 9 and 10, Death and Rebirth. The End of Evangelion, first episode 25, Love is Destructive and then one more final, I Need You. This is the end of Evangelion. I love, by the way, the artwork is fantastic. I got this one in Japan in a used box. The box was huge, it was like this. 
and there were like uh, other items in the box some were missing I think there was a lighter inside or like a telephone card or something and the box is empty now okay I hope you liked my uh, presentation of my uh, laser disc collection uh, I apologize for like the reflection which come from the window and also for maybe the bad audio quality I'm not quite sure if you can hear me well um, if you want to know more about some of these anime please leave me a comment down below and uh, yeah my question to you do you also collect laser discs if you do which ones do you have do you still watch them thanks for watching the whole video until the end and see you next time goodbye